hello, Cornerstone Community Church families and everyone else around the world watching right now. I'm Lita Rupert, and let's say howdy from Texas. We've been talking about generational blessings, and so here's one of my blessings I have. This is Miles. He's nine months old, and so I just wanted to show you what worship looks like with your kids. Maybe you've never done it before in your family. So I just thought we'd have a little example right now and just worship and declare God's word over their lives. Lord bless you. Make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. Can you worship Jesus? Can you worship Jesus and raise your hands? The Lord bless.
unconventional, I know, but I just really felt like there are some families there today that maybe have never done worship with your kids before. And so that gives you kind of an example. Just take them in your arms, just worship with them, just pray God's word over them, and then see the miracles that's going to happen in your family's life. You know, growing up, my mom would always pray and declare Proverbs 3, 3 through 4 over me. She would say, I thank you, God, that Lita will never let, let love and faithfulness leave her. She will bind them around her neck and write them on the tablet of her heart. Then she will win favor and a good name in the sight of God and man. So my mom prayed this over me almost every day, daily. I remember her just telling me, thank you, God, that Lita walks in this supernatural favor with God, with the kings, and with men. And she prayed that over me every day. And I've always just walked in the supernatural favor of God. And I guess it was about a couple of years ago, someone made a comment to me. They came up and they said, wow, you just always have the favor of God on your life. And at then at that moment, I realized that's because of my mom praying that prayer over me and confessing that over me daily. And so now every morning I'm praying this confession over my grandkids, over my kids, and I say them by name. I say, I thank you, God, that Rudy, Tabitha, Paige, Rice, Miles, Avery, Matt, Rachel, that they are walking in your supernatural favor all the days of your life, their lives, that God, that you give them supernatural favor with kings, with God, and with men. And I just can't wait to see just the miracles that are coming out of their life. I've already seen the supernatural favor and the hand of God on their lives. So through the years, I didn't walk always in that supernatural favor. When, when my mom would pray that over me, I just saw a shift happen. And so I was also just praying over you this morning. And I was thinking there might be some families that you're saying, you know what? I didn't have a good role model growing up. I didn't have a mom that prayed that over me or a dad that prayed that over me. So today, can I just tell you that now is the time? Now is the time to change all that. Now is the time to change things in your family that you want to see happen in your kids and in their kids and in their kids and in the, for all these generations to go. So now is the time. Start today. You know, um, I brought was brought up in a Christian family, but my mom, she was not always the kindest person whenever she would talk with me. And if I had to tell her something that really wasn't good news or something, she wouldn't always respond in love. And I remember, well, at first I made an internal vow that I would never be like my mom. But then later on, I realized that um, I just needed to say, with God's help, I'm going to respond with love to my kids. And with God's help, my kids can tell me anything and I won't get mad or angry. And my dad, he was just the opposite. So my dad, you could tell him anything. And whether it was good news or bad news, he would still have that same expression on his face, still respond with love and with gentleness and with kindness. And today I have my kids who are able to tell me anything. They're able to tell me things that they're struggling with, things that they've done that maybe isn't that pleasing to God. And when they come and they tell me, one of the things my daughter made a comment on just a few days ago was that, Mom, I can tell you anything, and I know you're not going to scream at me and yell at me, and that you're just going to pray with me about what I'm going through. And so it's even been a testimony to her friends who they realize that that's the way that they want to raise their kids, where their kids can come and tell them anything. So start today. Start today making some changes. Maybe you haven't always responded in love, but start today. God is a God full of so much mercy and so much grace. And yes, there have been so many times that I've messed up, but I don't keep myself down about it. If I mess up, I'm like, well, I messed that up. And then I would go and I would just apologize to my kids going, I didn't, I didn't handle that the right way. I didn't handle that the way that God would have handled that. 
And so he's a God of grace. And then I just was like, okay, next morning, it's a new morning. And so the next morning, get up going, it's a brand new day. And just going about the way that God wants you to raise your kids, responding with love and with kindness. Whenever um, I'm, I'm working at the kids ministry. And so we, uh, we have the word declaration that we just declare over our kids in our classrooms all the time. It comes from Deuteronomy 28. And I started declaring that over my own life. I started declaring that over my kids. Every morning when I would take them to school, I would declare this confession over them. And one um, just great testimony that comes out of this is uh, there's a, it was a college girl. And she remembered as she was going to class one day, she was taking a test. And she actually wrote the declaration on her arm so that when she was taking the test, then she could look down and remember God's word over her. So she wrote on her arm and she was taking the test. And then the teacher thought she was cheating. So she had to show the teacher. She was like, no, no, no. These aren't the answers to the test. This is actually to remind me of God's word that he's, um, that he's declaring over my life today. And I remember just praying that over my kids every day. And so it's out of Deuteronomy 28. And I'm just going to declare it over your lives today that you are the head and not the tail, that you're above only and not beneath, that you are blessed coming in and blessed going out, and everything you set your hands to will prosper. Amen? So I played, prayed that over my kids every day on their way to school. And then when they would take tests, whenever they were in situations where they just needed help from God for what they were doing in their lives, they would remember Deuteronomy 28 that I spoke over them. So these are just some examples as we're talking about godly heritage, as we're talking about raising our kids so that when they raise their kids and they have kids, that it just continues on for generations and generations. I see my own daughter doing worship with Miles because that's the way that she was brought up, doing worship. And you can just see right there, it's so easy to do worship with your kids. You, you don't have to be a person that sings great, because I think I actually sing a little bit on there, and I don't have really a great voice, but between God and I, he thinks I sound amazing. So uh, it's it really easy just to take your kids and do praise and worship with them in your house. Flood your house full of joy and full of his presence, and then just see the mighty things that he's going to do in each of their lives. You know, my mom would always um, say to me, I talk, talk about my mom a lot, because she's the reason why I'm here is because of all the words that she spoke over me. And she would say all the time, Lita, you have the mind of Christ. And that's from 1 Corinthians 2, 16. It says, I have the mind of Christ. And so she would declare that over me. And I remember going to school and I was walking from the dorm all the way to my class. And I was about to take this really, really huge test. And I was terrified. And so all of a sudden, those words rang in my head. You have the mind of Christ. You have the mind of Christ. So I must have said those words 200 times on that long walk from the dorm room to take my test. Thank you, God, that I have the mind of Christ. Thank you, God, that I have the mind of Christ. Thank you, God, that I have the mind of Christ. I would even say it while I was taking the test. And God would always just show up in amazing ways. And he would, he would just, um, everything I had studied would just start coming back to my memory. And I'd be sitting there taking the test going, God, I have no idea what this answer is, but thank you that I have the mind of Christ and you're going to help me with this. And it was just a testimony that, that what, that's what was poured into me. And that's what I hopefully did a great job just pouring into my kids. And so, again, you might be sitting there going, well, I didn't have parents that poured into me, but guess what? Now is the time. Now is the time for you to start pouring into your kids. Now is the time for you to start declaring the word of God over them every day. You know, I read this book called The Blessing, and it talked about how he would take his kids every night and he would lay his hand on their head and he would just speak a blessing over them. And then as they got older and they moved away and went to college, they would even call their dad and say, hey, can I have that blessing? So it can be a dad and a mom, 
whoever it is at the house, just speaking a, a grandma, a grandpa. My parents actually raised um, my brother's kids. And so they would just pray a, a blessing over them. And so whoever it is at the house can just lay a hand on your child's head and just pray a special blessing over them. You know, as I was um, just thinking right before I got on today, I just uh, pulled this book that um, I had. It's called, If You Love Me, Lita, Obey My Commandments. And it just has a bunch of promises uh, with my name in it. And so today, I just kind of wanted to show you how to just take some verses and just put your child's name in it and pray and come up with something to pray over them every day. And so these are actually um, from Joel 2, 28 to 30. Isaiah 32, 15, Ezekiel 3, 36, 26, and Ezekiel 36, 27, and 28. So I just want to read this. I'm actually going to insert my child's name, one of my kids' names. I'm going to insert Tabitha in there. It says, It shall come to pass in the last days that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and daughters shall prophesy, and your old among you shall dream dreams, your young among you shall see visions, and on my servant and on my handmaidens, I will pour out my spirit in those days and they shall prophesy and I will show them wonders. The spirit will be poured upon Tabitha from on high. A new heart also will I give her and a new spirit will I put within her, Tabitha, within her. Tabitha will take away the old spirit of sin and I will give her a new spirit of love and I will put my spirit within her and cause her to walk in my statutes and she shall keep my judgments and do them. And she shall be my child and I will be her God. So that's just an example. You can do just a, a real short, short blessing, whatever it is that God lays on your heart for your child. And I just, um, I want to pray over you that this week, God just starts showing you just little changes to make within your kids, within your family, maybe within your schedule. I know a lot of y'all are, are learning all the, the new things right now. And, and God's just showing you every day, just little things, little changes to make in your family. So let me pray over you. God, I just thank you so much for these amazing families. God, I thank you for your spirit of God to just be poured out upon them, that you give them creative ideas on how to do amazing things with your kids, with their kids, God, and give them the blessing that you want them to speak over their children, God. Thank you for just your supernatural anointing on every family here, God. Thank you that for generations to come, God, that, that they're going to see miracles, that they're going to see your hand in their lives for generations and generations. Amen. Thank you so much for letting me spend some time with you. I have had a blast just being with you, and I just pray that you just have an anointed week full of so much joy in your homes and full of so much peace. Bye-bye.